Welcome to my notes Oracle DBA YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about pipeline project in Jenkins. So here we are going to understand what is that pipeline and how we are going to configure the pipeline in step by step in detail. Let's see the definition of what is a pipeline. The pipeline is a set of automated process defined as a code used to orchestrate software application building testing and deployment and it provides a way to define and manage the entire software delivery life cycle in a single continuous workflow so uh, as a jenkins pipeline it allows you to express build and deployment process as code which can be versionized along your source code this approach brings several benefits that is versionized infrastructure which means that pipeline is versioned and stored alongside your source code allowing for better collaboration and traceability. Changes to the pipeline can be reviewed and tracked just like the changes to your source code. Reproducibility by defining the build and deployment process as code, you ensure that every build and deployment follows the exact same steps, reducing the chances of errors due to manual configuration. The next thing is flexibility. Jenkins pipeline can handle a wide range of scenarios from simple build tasks to complex multiple stage deployments. So you can customize the pipeline to suit your specific needs. Visualization and monitoring. Jenkins pipeline provide visualization of the entire workflow showing which stages have been completed and which are currently running. This helps in monitoring the progress of your software delivery. Parallel and sequential execution. Pipelines can run stages in parallel or sequentially depending on the requirements of your project. This allows for faster builds and testing. Integration. Jenkins pipelines can integrate with various tools and services such as version controls. So what are the ways we can define the pipeline? There are two types of ways are there to define the pipeline. The first one is declarative pipeline. This approach used as a simplified and structured syntax to define the pipeline stages, steps and configurations. It is well suited for simple to moderately complex pipelines and focus on making the pipeline code easy to read and maintain. Scripted pipeline. This approach offers more flexibility and customization by allowing you to write pipeline code using groovy scripting. It is suitable for more complex scenarios where you need to find grain control over the pipeline's behavior. So here the both declarative and scripted pipelines provide the ways to define the steps, stages, environments, variables, agent configurations, error handling and more. Let's get our hands dirty. So, so in the dashboard, I am going to create a new job. That job name is pipeline project using python so we have already know so uh, in the previous video we have covered how to create a freestyle project in the freestyle project we have just uh, given that build triggers and a post activity and uh, codes uh, during that execution of that so here actually we are going to use the direct pipeline so we have to use this option called pipeline and we have to give the okay once you have provided that, you have to give the description of the particular job. So I am going to say this is a simple pipeline project for demo. Now we already know about that that build triggers so we can use that github hook triggers so in the previous video we have covered what is the difference between pole SEM and github pole SEM polling 
uh, once you scroll down you could see that there is a uh, two things one is called pipeline script and another one is scm so now we don't know about anything about the pipeline script so here actually in the script itself you can see that some of the sample codes as well so i would take this uh, hello so in that hello actually what it will do so it that agent defines if you have that any specific agent you want to use you can mention it as like in the curly braces or else you can just keep it as a any the second thing is that pipeline as we see as the definition it will execute like a stages in the stages is similar like it's like an entire uh, auditorium that inside that we are going to schedule that like this to this has to be like a particular program so the first one is uh, like it's by default it's like say hello so i will just give that a play and i will save this job uh, i will close this one so yes so right now uh, so we are going to use that um, build now so the first thing is whenever you are going to use that pipeline it requires one successful build so since we don't have any codes so i have just executed this script so once you have uh, see you can just go back to the console output so in that console output you could see like we have just mentioned that that source code like a, that stage is hello and inside also hello so it got successfully now i will make it as a under tab the same one i will go back to the configure so in that configure i will just modify that the stage that here i would call it as a source here i can say this one is like a source demo So you don't know about it like a much uh, thing about how to write a pipeline and all. So there is a uh, one more thing called pipeline syntax, which makes us very simple to create the codes. Now I want to use that only the script of the Git. So I can say that Git and I could uh, copy that Git repo. So this is my Git repo. I will just copy this code and I will go back to here. and i could say that which is a branch of this particular thing so i will just say as a master this is the my git branch and uh, the credential is i am going to say like that updated passwords uh, so i have to provide that proper one so then i am going to give the generate script so once you have given this thing i can see the output of this pipeline script is so it's going to give the git branch which is the branch what we have mentioned that branch and credentials the credentials which we have saved in that credential so it's like a encrypted way and like uh, uh, that url of that particular git repo so i have just copied and i will go back to my project and so right now you got this done right and uh, you can just paste after that echo command you can just provide this one now you know very well you are going to clone that particular repo okay so now you want to verify like yes i have done the cloning i want to see that it's are there under this particular thing so i will go back to here and uh, i will just say this thing as a sil in that cell script i will just usually would say cat web scraper dot pipe so it will automatically create that cell script so like as such this is the format so i am just going to copy and paste over here then i will just done the changes over here now you can execute this build so you can just see that console output you can see that so that selected uh, git got cloned once you clone you can see that there is a scraper dot pipe so whatever that inside we have written that codes that has been displayed here so that end it got success now you can just go back to that configure 
so after the configure now we have successfully added the one stage right i am going to add some more stages in the same script what i will do i am not going to do anything uh, additionally i will just copy this stages i would say like this is a verify or we can say like a version so what exactly it will do uh, it will verify what is the python version has been installed on my jenkins agent node or on that uh, jenkins machine so i will just say uh, here as verifying python version now you know are you you know already uh, what is the script to verify that uh, python version so python 3 hyphen hyphen version so this is that another stage right now i want to include one more stage along with this so the next stage i am going to say this as like build which means i want to install all the pre request which means this particular python file have some dependency libraries right those libraries i want to install so that i would call as a echo this is build demo okay after that i would say pip install hyphen r then that file name is like requirement.txt right so i will just copy this file name and i would mention here so there are three stages right at the end i want to uh, once it is done right i want to do that test of that python script whether it's successful or not right so i would just copy that same stage once again then i can provide the name as test this one is like a test demo then i will call that python file name to get that output of this particular thing so i would say like python 3 and uh, that file name is web scrapper.py so you can just go back here and say like so there are like as of now the first one is we have done with that what is the source the source will get get cloned of that particular thing the next thing is version so the this stage actually we are going to verify the stage and that sta third stage is like a build which means we are going to install the required uh, uh, libraries on that uh, Jenkins agent node or like a, that master node. Uh, so I will just save this entire thing. Now we have opened that another one. Since in that uh, first build actually uh, we are as of now we are executing everything as a manual only. So the last build we know like what is that uh, console output here. I can just verify here since our last build would say like only one thing that is like uh, we have just cloned that repo and we have extra see that cat command right now I will execute that manually that third build would say like we have a um, four stages right so you can just go back here go to that console output so the first stage is like a source demo right in that source demo we got that clone of that repo right second in that second stage actually yes so verifying the python version so in that uh, my current machine had that python version of 3.8 right in the third stage actually i given that build so which means whatever that dependency libraries are there so it has to install on that 
particular agent node or like a Jenkins machine, right? So here actually all that libraries are already installed. So it says like it's uh, the required uh, uh, dependencies are already satisfied, right? Then that fourth thing is I have just executed that Python on that last stage. So it provides that output of so this Python expected output. So this uh, web scrapper actually what it will do it will extract that uh, from Wikipedia. So that top 10 richest people and it will show as a output right. So that's what HTML table format it's extracted data and it's showing as a output right. Now so we had understand like how to define the pipeline right. So in that real time actually whenever that developer is creating a any builds or like they want to get that artifactory so they want to get that output of that what exactly is happening over the job so once the job is executed they have to get the notification this job is completed and uh, that you have to get that notification or else if the job got failure that particular member or the developer has to get the notification due to some issue that particular got failure that notification how to define here in the previous thing actually we know like once we configured that SMTP configuration then that SMTP configuration what exactly will do it actually uh, if the job got failure and it will push that notification to whoever configured that email right so uh, here as well uh, we can do the thing uh, the thing is we have to add the code called post so which means after the build if it is a successful it would say like uh, always that echo was like just to give a run right now I have added like uh, what exactly that project name and build name build number and email id so that email id I have configured for uh, course my notes at dba dot uh, at gmail dot com so I will just add this code into that my pipeline so you have to make sure everything inside the pipeline if it is go outside the pipeline then that push notification actually won't work so I just copied everything okay I think I have added one more calibrate so this is the one yeah this post to post it's fine so we are good with that now I will apply this one now in that code itself what I will do I will just add some wrong file name okay now it has to failure right so I will go back to here so since the third build we done that multiple stages I will execute manually so it has to get failure that failure has to push over here Oh, you can just see the result yes successfully this one got failure right so you can just verify the files so all the builds are successful but that last test build got failure because of that particular file name is not present so it would say is like no such a file or directory uh, then we got that push notification like this is always run and we got here got notification we got that right so uh, here actually we got successfully failure notification then you can just refer this particular output so here would say is like what is the project name here the project name is like pipeline project using a python that's what our Jenkins job name so that a uh, one we captured and the other thing is like the build number on which exactly build it got failure that one we captured here and we got the URL of that particular entire thing so everything has been captured and it was sending that error code okay this is like a sample one so we got like that now we can just make that in bit more complicated so what I had done the code change so I just made the code to understand get that failure as well as let me explain the code so we will get that idea so here actually I have added that build loss which means all that initialize that variable has been initialized 
so that stages are as it is but i have added only one thing in that uh, stage uh, test code which means if that script got failure then it will capture that test logs and that logs has been published on the failure thing and if it is a successful then that published logs would go and refer that particular thing so that last uh, uh, thousand uh, lines were copied so you, it is depends upon you so you can just that script and also i have just made some configuration changes on that success and failure uh, notification email so here actually what will happen if it is a success then that build uh, has been included and it will say like a, a subject of email has been success if it is a failure then it has been like a, that is a uh, email of uh, thing is like a failure ci and it will include that build and uh, thing so here actually i defined uh, some additional thing uh, like a function to capture that uh, which uh, job and what is the build number url and uh, that build logs and text logs and what is the subject and uh, what could be that uh, sent to that notification everything has been attached here now i will just apply this one i will make it as just added on this particular thing so it's executing now we can go and verify that console output so in case any failures we can just understand so all the stages are working fine so this is the second stage so we got that version of that and that build demo we have already installed the required thing so here actually we have provided the exact uh, python name so we got that and uh, so everything has been successful like uh, so you can see that so uh, this one was successfully executed so you could see that whatever we defined as a post activity success ci the project name whatever the jenkins name it got send a notification and you could see the output of the desired pipeline has been defined here which means so here we can see that output of the particular thing next thing i will execute the same script through that acm so what i will do i will just change that pipeline script to pipeline acm so we have that option called git once you provided the git so you have to go back to that your git repo i will copy this repo and i will attach that particular repo over here then i will so we already know like uh, this is like a private repo if you are passing the passwords then that error would be gone automatically and uh, we have to provide that exact which branch we have our codes are uh, been there so we have to provide that branch and that uh, repository browser also it would be like automatic right then the next major important thing is it should be like a jenkins file so that pipeline script whatever we have executed right those things should be available on the jenkins file now i have just done the changes now you can just go back to that now you can execute this one so till that last five builds where we are executing through that pipeline script now we are going to execute this thing as a through that scm right so you can just verify that console output so it's been successful and it will publish the logs as well so that you can just defer that so what is the difference of this pipeline and the uh, previous thing so i just done that only one change the change is so in that previous job i have just captured that python output and publish the result into that email here actually i have just captured that entire logs of the jenkins so that we can understand like uh, what's exactly happening if it's a failure you want to do the logs right so we have just made like that as a script now i will go back to this
particular project and so we have already enabled that uh, kit hook okay so let's delete this i'm going to add that Can there is a dashboard manager games? So sometimes if the webhook is not proper, improper, so it will cause that that Git SAM won't be push that thing. So we are seeing it right. Uh, so I'm just to reconfigure that webhook. So I have to go here right Git. So in that Git, actually I have to select this one. So we have to add that this is the one we have to add that in. So I have just made that webhook as like push everything, every event, right? So I would give you like a no. So you can wait for a few seconds. So once that webhook is available, it would give like a green. I will just refresh. Yes. So the webhook is fine. Now we can go back to our uh, repository and uh, that repository. We can made few changes to verify that failure as well. So what we can do, I will just modify this file and I will edit this as request. So I am giving like bug bug for pipeline. I would say like pipeline then I would do that commit so once you've done the commit you can just see that what was the successful last one was 7 right see after that you made the change like with that commit on that particular repo it automatically push the change and that you can see that console output as well yes you can just go here and uh, it says like all that builds are fine now you can that see that the stage the stage would say is like the capture of due to that failure so inside that we got an error right now you can just go back here and see that so this actually this failure is not sending an email right now i would make Actually, that code are different. I would copy this code into that Jenkins file. First changes, I would say like request. First, this is fine, right? We are going to cancel the changes. Fine. So I want to make that. I want to get that output of particular failure as well, right? So I will cancel this one and I will add. So this is like I can say updated Jenkins failure notification. Then the commit. So that last build was failure, right? Now you can see that there is that another build was executing over here and you can see that see like we have enabled that git sm right that git sm automatically it will whenever that changes happen on that particular thing it will just push the changes into our uh, file right so all that stages were successful now you can see that since that python code have a issue so it would say like this 
import is not a module now it says like failed right so you can just go back here so the failed notification we got it right like uh, that project build and uh, logs everything has been captured now what i will do i will just make it as correct one so not this one i will go back to my page and i will just modify this code Bug fixed. I will give that commit name is bug fixed. So in that previous job node as well, you can see one thing. So uh, whenever we are executing manually, so you could say like this was created by like uh, whatever the user, right? So here it would say like a git push by uh, like a which git repo like a which exactly that git repo would has been pushed. So it was like automatically git pushed, right? You can just see we done that one more slight change. So that tenth one was going one. So yes, it was a successful one, right? Now you can just see that. So all stages are fine, and uh, this Python file also would publish the report and that capture the logs. So the logs has been captured here. And uh, you could see that entire result at the over end. So in that successfully email, you got that email and you could see that published. So this is how that pipeline project is working. So.